Hey, this is Nicole from On The Moment Booth, and today I'm sharing with you the five things that you need to start your photo booth business. Let's get to it. All right, starting off, number one, the first thing that you need to start your photo booth business is obviously a photo booth. I have mine behind me. It's a Salsa photo booth from Photo Booth Supply Co. It is an iPad based photo booth. There are a lot of photo booths on the market. I would say from what I've seen, I think the iPad photo booth is going to be your easiest. And if you're wanting to start your business quickly, it's your easiest to kind of get acquainted with. It's super user friendly and especially with um, Photo Booth Supply Co. They have a lot of training and um, a really big Facebook group that has been really helpful. They have a lot of resources for you to kind of learn the equipment very quickly. And so I really appreciated that. Rolling on to number two, the second thing you need is an iPad. So for me, obviously I have an iPad based photo booth business. So you once you get your um, photo booth, you need to put your iPad in it. I have the 12.9 inch 2021 iPad Pro. I was able to add that onto my phone plan, so that's something to consider if you're trying to figure out how to get all this equipment in one jump. Um, definitely look into that. That might be an affordable option for you. All right, number three, the third thing that I needed to start my photo booth business is lighting. And I know this is probably not something that many people would maybe even agree with, but I purchased um, LED lighting even before I had my first event. Based on the suggestions from others, I saw a lot of photo booth companies. I saw kind of the quality that I wanted to emulate. And I was like looking and researching and asking like, what are you using? What are you doing? Um, and so I decided on these lights here. I have them available down below so you can check those out too. Um, they're color changing and I use them to really help bring more light to the clients and the guests, which helps with making the picture quality so much better. So I would highly recommend it, especially if you're wanting to do that black and white glam look, you're gonna need extra lighting 1000%. So check it out. And if you have any further questions about it, leave a comment below or DM me, I'd be happy to answer it. All right, moving on to number four, the fourth thing that you need for your photo booth business this is going to be dependent on your business model. I decided right at the beginning that I was going to offer prints. Now there's a lot of photo booth companies who are completely digital and maybe that's you and that's totally great if that's your business model. I knew that I wanted to provide prints and I also knew that um, the clients that were reaching out to me were asking for prints. So it's something to consider. Um, I got the DNP 620A printer Unfortunately, it is out of stock right now. However, if you find yourself on um, Facebook groups, especially um, the PBSCO marketplace, once you become an owner of a salsa boost, um, get yourself on the marketplace because I have seen many people selling um, printers there. So that's definitely something to consider if you're wanting the printer. Hopefully it's gonna be back in stock soon. To couple with that, the number four B is going to be the dongle. You do have to have a dongle because this is an iPad based photo booth. There's the only wiring is the power um, to power the fan for the LED lights, etc. So you do have to have a dongle which emits a wireless signal to the iPad for it to be able to print. So you'll have your printer, your printer dongle, and then your iPad photo booth. So there's two options that I would suggest you check out. Number one, the most affordable option, and it's the one that I went with, and it's the one I've been using for all of my events up today, um, has been the WCM2. I'm, I'm gonna put a clause here because there have been some issues with the WCM2, and a lot of people have recommended to forget that and go ahead and go with the more expensive option, which is the Aircast Pro. The Aircast Pro supposedly is much faster, much more reliable. Um, I will preface all of this with saying I do have the WCM2. I did just purchase the Aircast Pro as a backup, but my WCM2 has not failed me once. 
Um, I've had over 11 print events and I've used it and it's gone smoothly. So it's, it's one of those things like, do you want to risk it? Do you want to just get this thing that's more reliable? That's completely up to you. Um, but I did just want to put that information out there. I will do another video kind of comparing and contrasting the two, so stay tuned for that. All right, and the very last thing that you need to start your photo booth business are backdrops. So for backdrops, you have a lot of different options. You have the pillow cover backdrop, so it's basically literally like a pillow sleeve. It goes over an aluminum frame and you zip it at the bottom so it's nice and tight. You also have sequin backdrops, you have flower backdrops, you have um, shimmer walls, you have fringe walls. There are so many options that you have for your photo booth business. I definitely recommend several pillow drop backdrops. Um, those will definitely work better for you. They're more cost effective in my opinion. Um, it just definitely depends on your business model and the direction that you're going for your business. I did get the Atlas frame from Photo Booth Supply Co, the one that came in like the essentials package. The Atlas stand is eight and a half by seven and a half feet and it came with a black marble and a gray white marble um, pillow cover backdrop. Um, I will say moving forward, I've purchased backdrop um, pillow covers from PB Backdrops. Um, I have them linked down below and they have a humongous assortment. They also have um, widgets that you can put in your website so your clients can actually like browse the entire collection and pick the ones that you they want. Um, I will preface this, if you have the Atlas stand, you do have to upgrade um, to a true eight by eight if you buy from PB Backdrops. So it's an additional charge of $50 each time you buy a backdrop. So keep that into consideration. It might be more profitable for you to buy the frame from PB Backdrops because their standard frame is seven and a half by seven and a half. Um, so it just depends. It depends on what you wanna do. You could always get the Atlas and one from the other company. So you have two as backups, that's also an option. But I did want to let you know that if you do decide to get another frame and you have the Atlas, that you would have to upgrade each time. That is it. Those are the five things that you need to start your photo booth business. Stay tuned for part two. I'm going to share more of the behind the scenes, business related items that you absolutely need. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for all of your support. If you want, you can follow me here at my Instagram, Own the Moment Booth. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.